Hey everyone, this is Sean from Sean's DIY and Reviews, and today I have a microphone to review right here. So uh, we're gonna take a look at this. So uh, if you're new to this channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as do-it-yourself projects around the house. If those type of things are interesting to you, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future episodes. All right, so here's the box, and as you can see, it's a cardioid pattern, which means it picks up around the front of the microphone, which is nice, it's obviously what you want. The other cool thing about this is it supports both smartphone as well as camera, which is really cool. It's not something you see in a lot of other shotgun microphones. And this is model CVM VM10. It's a micro directional shotgun microphone. Uh, looking around the box, you can get a little more information about it. Cardioid, smartphone, as well as camera, which is nice. I'll probably use it a lot on my DSLR. It does come with two different color clips. This one's the black one but it also has a red one as well, so you can choose which one you want. And if you're interested in this microphone, I'm gonna link down below where you can get this. So here's what's included, the body, the windscreen, it actually comes with a uh, dead cat, I think they call it, a smartphone cable and a camera cable. Uh, why is there two different cables? Because there's TRS and TRRS, and so one of them's for smartphones. Right now I'm recording this on my cell phone, so you'll get a sense of what the cell phone camera sounds like, and then I'll switch the audio uh, after we get into this particular review here. Here's some details about the device itself right here. So if you're interested, stop, and uh, you can take a, a better look at it. Also wanted to mention that I'm going to do a sound test on this as well, and I will also compare it to my Tackstar microphone. I've done a review on the Tackstar before, so you can go ahead and check a look at that too. I'll link that in the description below as well, so you can take a look at that if you want to see this microphone. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy. All right, so in the box you have a plastic, you have instructions here, of course. Warranty information right here. And then there's the dead cat, and then there's the foam cover right there, labeled with the name of the company. And I will say that the company has provided me with this device, but I will still give you my honest answer. And um, as I shared with them, with all products, it's always going to be my honest review. But um, you'll be able to tell for yourself based on the sound you're hearing now versus when this is plugged in. And then I will also do the Tackstar as well. As you can see, this microphone is very compact. It fits right in the palm of my hand here very easily. Uh, this is your mount for your DSLR camera that you can mount it onto the top of your camera like that. Uh, looking at it here, this little, the microphone itself could pop right out of this holder here if you wanted to. There's a clip part right here where my finger is. Back here is where you're gonna plug the microphone in. Here's the microphone itself and based on some of the Rode microphones I've seen in the past, I'd almost say this looks a little bit like one of the Rode microphones. Do you have a Rode? I'd love to hear below. Do you think your microphone looks a lot like this? Um, the other thing that I think is nice is compared to the Tackstar, it's definitely compact. So it's quite a bit smaller, be easier to carry around. So this three ring side would be what would go into your cell phone as opposed to this one having two rings on each side. This is basically will allow you to convert from the cell phone into or from the microphone into your cell phone and pick up all, all channels. So it's going to be as simple as plugging this in here and obviously you're going to do the two-sided one into the back of the microphone and then the other side which is the three I will plug into my cell phone and I'll do that right now. But uh, probably about three and a half four feet away from me um, a little bit closer up front so you get a d definitely uh, a sound of what it sounds like. Now I'm back on my cell phone microphone, just the main microphone into the phone where I'm recording this. And I actually have a TRS to TRRS connector here that I purchased separately. And if you're interested in something like this, I'll put a description where you can get one of these in the, uh, in the bottom in the description section as well. So I can connect my tax star using this and you could always get something like this. So I will connect that to my cell phone so you can hear how that sounds. Okay, so I have my Tackstar microphone right in front of me here, so you can see that. And I have, this has several settings, which the other one doesn't. So it allows you to do a 10 dB um, increase. And uh, I'm, I, have, I turned that off. So you can just hear how it sounds without the 10 dB. 
I'll go ahead and put it in on top of my phone right now. So it's actually um, right, right above the, the phone right there. So you can hear that, how this Taxstar sounds. And now I'll go ahead and uh, adjust the Taxstar to turn on the 10 dB boost. So now here's the Taxstar above my phone with the 10 dB boost. Now here it is right in front of me with the 10 dB boost. And now again, I have the Comica right here connected into my phone. And uh, here's how it sounds right in front of my face. Here's how it would sound if it was right above my camera. And if you learned something on this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, want to learn more about other products, electronic products, definitely consider subscribing. And if you'd like me to review your product, definitely contact me and let me know. I would love to uh, review your electronic product as well. So thanks so much everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next video.